Okay, well, first I want to say uh, what's, what's up, and I know a lot of people will be like, damn, uh, Prophetess Juanita Bonas, okay, you're a prophet, okay, and you come to prove a high existence. Okay, now when you say God, you talk about the Greek, okay, let's take you a little bit further. Maybe you can take it past the Greek, or you could go beyond the Greek. But see, when you say God, and you're saying, you're talking about a civilization or a dynasty that was very corrupted. And the word God, the word God is actually uh, three letters, Guma, Uz, and Debor, which means wisdom, strength, and beauty, which they was given a tribute to the Elo and the Elohim. That's why you never took it to, you never studied the word. When you study the word, you're coming from a slave mentality, and you're not getting out of it. You're telling people things that basically is not applicable to leaving the situation. You're telling them to, to endure the situation instead of changing the situation. First of all, the womb man are the creators on earth. They create men. So you have your men around you who have given you some power to uh, power the church, power within the church, but restricted with men. And th what you're talking about is you're just talking emotional. You're just making women scream and shout about whatever and, get, and, and saying about hope, which was, it was good at one time. But now the whole thing is about application let my people go, and why are we going through the same things? How long have you been preaching this God ministry? How long have you been preaching the God ministry? Okay, within these years, right, you have been with your ups and downs. Uh, I'm going to get you with something in a minute. I'm going to come right back to the same thing, and... Um, I'm going to show, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. You just hold, you just hold on right there. 